We talk a lot about OpenAI. We talk a lot about NVIDIA <laughs> as well. So these are the two kind of marquee names. I'm curious sort of how you see that landscape shifting and, and evening out. So there's so much obvious promise uh, and faith in NVIDIA, for instance. When do we begin to see that sort of trickle down and sort of what does it look like one level beneath <laughs> NVIDIA? I mean, NVIDIA is definitely... The lodestar. I mean, holy mackerel. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, they just... I mean, based on visible alpha consensus, we see um, the, in the data, this year the data center revenues are expected to generate over $100 billion. But looking forward several years, it's, it's going to over 200. $100 billion <laughs> in revenue growth for one segment is expected in the market. That is astonishing growth. And so, you know, I think when we look at that, it, it just tells us, wow, there's something interesting coming down the pike, right? And, and so I think, you know, for, for Apple, you know, they're sort of the consumer end of that. They're the end user of that. What NVIDIA does is they're essentially building the infrastructure right. that's enabling all of this generative AI to even happen, you know, to make it so that, you know, users like um, you and I mm -hmm. and, and organizations can actually have the compute power to do um, the generative AI things that are so productive and interesting. So NVIDIA, obviously, I think for most lay people, that is their AI play, even though there's a lot more. On the software side, I hear Microsoft mentioned as a way, if you want exposure to kind of the next wave of technology, whether it's AI or whatever, they're gonna, I called it big data two years ago, now, now it's AI. Uh, Microsoft is a story. How do you think about that? I mean, Microsoft is another monster. And based on Visible Alpha Consensus, their Azure cloud business is expected to go from $75 billion and then over the next couple of years to $150 billion. I mean, 70, so between NVIDIA and Microsoft together, you're talking about $175 billion in expected new revenue growth. That's um, incredible. We had this news this week, Bloomberg reporting that uh, two regulators are looking into Microsoft and NVIDIA when it comes to, to AI. And I wonder sort of what that tells you, not necessarily about those cases as they might be unfolding, but about where we are in this cycle. Again, we talk about the promise of AI, yet things are moving so quickly. You talk about doubling revenue, that's insane, like in the, in the speed that you're talking about. But you know, then, you, then you have news like this and you wonder sort of what, what are the things that might slow this down or might bring this to a more normal pace? Is, is that yeah. even likely to happen, do you think? I, I mean, it's, it's a question that keeps me up at night. Yeah. I'm like, what, what happens if the, the consumer just doesn't adopt? If it doesn't click. Generative AI deal, it doesn't click. Because I really remember uh, covering Apple back in the day, pre-iPhone, and I remember a lot of us in the investment community debating, oh, is this thing gonna take off? Are people gonna like these touch screens? Or like, there's no keypad? You know, what about the flip phone? <laughs> remember those I days? Did, yes. <laughs> and, and I remember there were two really distinct moments when I thought, okay, this thing's gonna be huge. Hmm. The first was when I saw my one-year-old child taking her finger on an iPad and very it out. intuitively it is very wild how that happens. engaging yes. with this, couldn't walk or talk really, <laughs> but can engage with an iPad. I was like, wow, this is really interesting. Uh -huh. Wow, this could create a whole generation of users that are not really baked into expectations. Yeah. And the second was my mom, a widow and retiree, saying, you know, I, I think I want to, you know, convert from a flip phone to an iPhone. What do you think? Should I do it? And then it really revolutionizing her life. Things like GPS, text, her, the way she engages with us and her friends, really uh, making her life a lot more fun and, and, and easy. And so if generative AI is able to do that, um, I think it could be really interesting. <laughs>